Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke, and today in Last Epoch, I'm releasing my full session first impressions intro to the Rogue, who reached level 8 and to where Belfast was stolen. I'll be noting various aspects of gameplay, design, gear, and so forth along the way. Enjoy! Okay, getting into another character today. I'll check out the next one down the list. Again, we're continuing offline just for the sake of avoiding latency issues. Great new offline character. We'll keep the thing going. And we will try out the... Probably one of my least favorite classes to play in any RPG. Uh, I guess... I don't know, I just never really liked archers. I'd rather just... I'd rather jump in with a sword and shield or throw spells, I guess. All right, what are we name in our rogue here? Uara. All right, H or no H? Luara, Luara. There, two R's. Luara. Good enough. Yeah. I know the story by now. I know the beginning story, at least. Interesting how the uh, open screen just kind of jars back. All right, so here's the rogue. Got ourselves, looks like a short sword of some kind. Is that in, we got daggers or something up there? Get out of the way. I thought that might be, the area titles I think might be a little over stylized. All right, we got our attack. And we have Flurry. A bow or melee attack that performs three rapid strikes. The last strike can be canceled by moving. The second one can't? It's the last. Huh. Quick strikes. Go and grab the letter. Oh, not this guy. Stand and fight. Got him. Short bow. So something that can there's no swap weapons is there so you can either only have a bow or a sword you can't swap between both i suppose as far as i know there's no switch weapon i think i hit every button there is I hope uh, she can pick up some damage here. It's going to be a lot of uh, running and running. I blocked? How did I block? Got shirkins. So you just, you just throw them, huh? Okay. Chalice. We got minion damage. That's not helpful at all, but health regen will help, I guess. Although, I don't 
One thing I've noticed is you don't really need much help with uh, health regen, or mana regen for that matter. Manor for that matter. Oh, the fast strike is pretty cool. Probably be swapping out my regular strike. I'm just gonna go and swap out my regular strike for that. There's no point to even have a regular strike. Shurikens are good against multiple. It doesn't even need any mana cost. That's interesting that some skills don't require any mana. So why would you even have a regular skill if you're just going to replace that with the triple skill immediately? No, the triple fire. Triple attack. There's our burning friend. Those phoenixes will come after you. There's Grail. Good thing I level. I think my health jump. Ooh, there it goes again. Well, to be fair, I was also standing right in the middle of three Osphix warriors, and one of them was uh, unique, I suppose we can call them. You arrived. It was my mistake. They were cornered. I can handle Osphix. I told them. So I'm wondering. He said if there was a family here. Was he talking about his family, or was he talking about another person's family? Sorry. He he does not elaborate. Good. Name's Gr I wonder. Come. Let me like, watch you fight. if he, like, ran down here to, like, help his family, he got over it pretty quick. Yeah, I'm assuming it's another person's family he's trying to help or save. I've noticed the Osprex warriors are fighting the flame people. What? He's not. What? I guess I'm a little confused as to why some of the creatures are attacking each other and others are not. Settings. I think I want to. Where is the. Oh, stop moving. Uh... There's a slight. There we go. Map opacity. Overlay map opacity? You can't. Overlay map zoom? So you can't see what these are in real time? Alright, what? What? Um... Hmm. Or maybe... I guess I... I don't know. I wanted this to... My map to not be as... I want to be a little more transparent. <clears throat> Where'd 
you learn to fight? Ooh, let's back up a second. Okay. Well, you, if the dialogue box is up, you cannot uh, use the skill over it, <laughs> which is interesting. I don't care about brass scepters. Um, drop stuff. I'm not going to use for this one. Uh, we got we got new skill, right? Shift. I got two new skills. I didn't even realize it. Uh, what is this? Dash for a short fixed in the target direction. Throw a flaccid... <laughs> throw a flask of acid that explodes, dealing physical damage and impact, poisoning enemies and reducing their armor. Uh, we'll put run down here. There. Take some boots. I think this Harbuck's gonna be better than what I have. Yep. Uh, an amulet for some health. Stunning shrine. There's no one around to stun. Oh yeah, specialization. Oh, let's see. Come back to that. So I'm not too sure about Acid Flask. I don't think that's going to be doing too much. That seems pretty underwhelming here. Acid flask, acid flask, acid flask, more acid flasks. So many acid flasks. Poison, 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 wahaha. Uh oh. Run. Poison, poison, poison. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. Good. I have a short bow already, right? Yeah, okay. I'll see you ahead as he follows you. Golden experience. I wonder, did that decrease and I just didn't notice? Let's do it more. I don't know what that does. Sounds like their leaders wait to keep us a group. Even that's the now. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. Okay, let's head up to the first mission here. I don't need to speak with you. He's quick. How did he get from all the way down there to all the way up here so fast? <laughs> the was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. I assume something happened. And I remain. Our chances of both us is busy. Even now. could you make sh do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to here. Grail was just telling me what. Both, both, no, you could make sh do this, and our alliance is secure. I don't, I don't know why I'm back to her. It's very nice imagery. Uh, it's see, part, see that one looks like it. It had like a I don't know, it just looked like blurred. Like you put like a like a 0.5 pixel Gaussian blur on it or something. I don't know how else to explain how some of these textures look and some some look crisp and sharp and others look like they're just blurred to hell. Poison actually do enough damage to kill him. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be using Poison Flask very much. Is this another passive? 
Or my first passive. That's right. Uh, oh, that's probably going to be what I'm looking for. Damage. So dexterity. Dexterity adds dodge rating and improved skills that rely on... Improved skills that rely on skillful handling. Some of this text needed to be worked on a bit, I think. And then dodge rating. So, we'll go damage. Two damage. And then I guess we'll throw a few points to dodge. My dodge rating. Finally, give me to walk a little faster. Are better than what I have. Not a good fit. Whoops. That. How did I block? What am I blocking with? Okay. Why are the vine crawlers fighting the Osprey? Osprey. I guess you can block with the bow. That's nice to know. Uh, put Sash on. Uh, not using staffs. I had gloves. Are these better? Oh, they are better than what I have, because I didn't have any. A wand, and some more boots. Uh, not better. Okay, and it loves giving me rare spears. I don't know what its affinity is with sp rare spears, but it enjoys rare spears. Oh, that's what's shooting that shit at me. Well, I mean, I gotta say, the poison does do damage. I can't knock it for not doing damage. I should put another passive on. Oh, maybe I guess I can't do that yet. Yeah, now let's hit that other passive. Uh, health? Yeah, I should probably do some health. Do a dodge, and then we'll come back to health. Since I don't have a character that relies on dodging and being evasive, we'll try it with this one. Oh, 
I'm definitely doing some damage. So is that a new skill? Puncture. An extended melee stab or piercing bow attack that has a 30% chance to inflict bleed on it. Okay. So we'll put that probably here. Just move everything down. Like so. Does any of this take mana to use? No. Why even have mana? <laughs> you running up on me? Uh, new chalice. Let's see what this guy is doing. Physical damage. I'm not doing physical damage. Well, I guess I get... Oh, crafting! Gotta keep everything for crafting. Keep it all! I don't even know what I'm crafting yet. I have absolutely no idea how crafting works. I have not looked into that whatsoever. But just keep everything anyway. Not even getting close to me. Now this one might. Well, they got close, but nothing happened. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ten gold. All right. New hood, which is not better. Same, same, same one. Same thing. Another spear and a mask. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably should have died there, but I didn't. Alright, so rogues have their own masks. Okay, so hoods are rogue specific too. So it looks like you only find your class specific items here. And it seems to be helms, I guess. Oh, well, I guess. Helms and armor. Otherwise, boots, gloves, belts are all interchangeable. Well, yeah, and then uh, your relic, whatever that is for your specific character. Armor and poison resist. Health regen. Armor, okay. Take the mask. What's the mask look like? Oh, spiffy. Magical short bow. Let's 
go and throw that on. I know it's going to be better. And we'll see what the stats are afterward. You have to take this guy out. So it's a short bow. Um, just some lightning damage. Okay. I'm noticing. I, I. I don't like. I don't like the run. The run cycles. I don't like the run. I mean, first off, they run way too slow. Second off, they're running way too exaggerated, way too large of strides for how fast, or I guess how slow they're running. Should be kind of uh, shorter, quicker strides. Like, you know, no one, no one's gonna run like this in real life. I argue it's not real life, but there's something called immersion. And when I don't and when it looks like the character is running like a cartoon, I I kinda I don't know, I feel like I'm kinda taken out of the seriousness of, you know, what's going on. I mean, I'm taking them out like, like a mofo. Yeah, I think if there's ever gonna, if there's a class that's just a straight up dominator, it's probably gonna be the rogue. I suppose that's the same in every game. Back at the fortress walls. I left those archers in back. Oop. Let them get too close. Yeah, I would have. That would have been better if I had uh, taken out the archers first. I left the archers alive in back. Bad idea. I think I leveled again. I don't know if it's like... It doesn't do... It's not like a large, uh, big enough exclamation that you've leveled. Maybe... I feel like the points, you know, your level... and It's not like an immediate, you know... Yes, all right, I need this, you know, level now. I need this passive ability now. I don't know, I just... There's several times so far where I just haven't... I haven't noticed that I've leveled. Uh, we'll put some to health just to make sure I keep that going since that got a little close. Oh, yeah, I haven't even picked a damn specialization yet. Um, Probably puncture. I mean, yeah, why not? 
Oh, I just noticed you could click and drag, so I guess that's what that's for, huh? You just click and jump there? Okay. I don't know why I didn't realize that when I was first playing around with why you could move these around. I guess that, that makes a lot of sense. Alright, what are we doing here? We're doing chance to shred enemy physical resistance. That's too much to read. Deals more damage, but it has less speed. Chance to cause enemies to bleed. Um, well, I don't like any of those. So, what do we get elsewhere? I mean, I, whatever. I guess um, chance to bleed. Why not? Alright, let's watch out for this guy. He is going to... Play this guy's going to one-hit me pretty quick here if I'm not paying too close attention. The fire attacks are... Brutal. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> As I just run right in front of it. Oh, run in front of it again. Another health potion. Just out of reach. There he goes. A club. I'm not going to do much with a club here. And a shield. I'm not going to do much with a shield either. Uh, 23 forging potential. I don't even know what that means. 15 is less. There's the waypoint. We're at Fortress Walls. Check. Bleeding's an immediate effect, I like that. Alright, uh, stack poison and bleed and probably get some good damage going. Uh, let's go hit the storerooms real quick. Hit the barrel. There you go. Amulet. Is that better than what I have? 23 to health. Cast speed. Oh, shit. Alright, here we go. Take me. Let's go. Bring it on. Got him. What? Oh, I accidentally did a portal. Okay, something I gotta talk about real quick. That is a shit looking portal. I'm sorry, that is that is so underwhelming. That is just not not good looking at all. Like it looked like Like, I'm sorry, that just looks like a, a, a hole. 
That's a crap looking portal, I'm sorry. It is. Yeah, that stacking is uh, definitely doing some good stuff. Huh, I leveled again. Alright, uh, Cinder Strike. What is Cinder? Cinder Strike. Melee or bow combo with three attacks. The first attack also creates a fiery explosion. So, is that going to be better than Flurry? I'm going to assume yes. So, that's. Well, that's really fast attack. Alright, uh, we'll try it out. So then we're going to keep doing um, bleed or timing. Um, I'm not sure I like the slow attack speed. Uh, shred physical resistance, I guess that's a good thing. Okay, and we'll swap out... I mean, I could just swap out. I kind of like the poison. All right, we'll see if this is uh, good or shit. Quiver. Okay, so quivers are bonuses. They're buffers. Increased bow attack speed. Not too sure about Cinder. Scepter, another scepter. Good for blowing up barrels. Assassin Short Spear. That was close. Why are you saying that was close? I had I had, like, full health. Boom. Uh, I guess we'll keep Cinder. Does a lot more damage now. <laughs> Alright, health is going to be a problem, I think. As I'm going to lose it very quick. There we go, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that shit just that shit just goes flying. All right, so that's obviously two pieces of geometry stuck on one object. 
It's like, for every really nice thing there is, there's just something that's not done well or not done right. Uh, thanks for your two cents there, buddy. off. Oh, there he goes. Again, I do have to say, I really like the level design so far. It really feels like I'm, you know, on the ramparts of some castle. I mean, uh, you know, random towers and places, bridges, stairwells leading to different areas, lower parts. Level design is very good. Even the gardens was, you know, it was nice. Felt like, you know, the gardens of a city. I love go. Hey, stacks here. No. No, it's it's small cleverness like that. That could have very well just been a wall or like a cliff, but they decided to actually, you know, keep the ramparts going and just you know block it off with the hay barrel. I like the, you know, everything's looked like, you know, coat of arms. Looks like a barracks. You got, you know, shield stuff everywhere. Shield racks. Weapon racks. Now, I, I like the design of this catapult. Or, no, I'm sorry, battering ram. I mean, it's, it's a very cool looking battering ram. But then you, like, you zoom in and then you see, like, you know, the, the polygons and, you know, you see that. Again, I get in the interest of saving space, but, I mean, like, you know, look at the texture on these bricks over here. You can kind of see where the seams are. And, like, some of it looks very good. But then, like, parts of it kind of don't. And overall, the reflections are very nice. You know, like, that fire effect. So the effects are very good in this. You know, the fire look, the little fire spot looks very nice. Doesn't look, you know, cheap or fake in the scorch area. And, some of it's very nice, but in some areas, I think they just maybe sacrificed a bit too much on fidelity. Like, look at this, like, look at the statue in the background. That, that, that looks like, I mean, something out of, I don't know, Xbox 360. I... You know, like, it's just like a very poorly rendered, like, normal map or bump map or... I... Like, again, maybe they too low of resolution. I don't know. But some part, like, but, you know, every time I see this scenery here, I'm like, that is wonderful. That's very nice to look at. Uh, passive. Three passive points. When did that happen? When did I get three passive points? Um, so I guess we'll just keep... Damage going, who doesn't like damage? Smoke bomb. Drop a smoke bomb at your feet that blinds enemies and grants you haste while you remain inside it. Smoke bomb grows in size, lasts four seconds. Um Maybe. You can dual melee weapons by equipping a sword and a dagger sword or dagger in your offhand. Okay, that's pretty cool. Less damage while moving. I'm going to be moving a lot, so that's probably going to be helpful. And we'll do another one. And actual skills. Uh, smoke bomb. 
So we'll get rid of Acid Flask for Smoke Bomb. Like what kind of does more damage, I guess, you know? I'm just throwing a flurry of attacks at him. Yo! Took him out. Night shard, nothing good. What is ivory dice? Critical strike chance. I don't even think I've seen what the gold actually looks like on the floor yet. I just pick it up automatically and the text uh, is right over it every time. Hello, Belfast. We must protect the shard. Oh. carefully. Protect the shard. Okay, let's not jump in the middle of that. Line them up and knock them down. So much damage. Too sure about smoke bomb. I don't think it's going to be very actually like lucratively helpful. Easy. Too easy. <laughs> I tried to dodge right into the whatever the hell that is in the tree tree roots. Get out of that. Oh, I hit town portal. Still a shit looking portal. Goodbye. Chill, strength shard. Rare hood. Probably gonna be better than my mask. Vitality, mana, physical resistance, yep. Yep. Hmm. I feel like that's not quite lining up. Okay, what is this? Alright, so gold's there. Um, probably has... Doesn't look like I have any texture on it. I guess you don't technically need to, but... That should hold them. Well, tell you what, let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. Yes, please explain everything. It's hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Thing is done doing massive damage. It's notes. Don't care about notes. That's a shrine. I wonder if that's a gold shrine. A stun shrine to stun nobody. Should 
Chopping him down. Slice and dice him. I do enjoy the fire arrow exploding everything else around it. It's less work to get the uh, pots open, barrels and whatnot. There it is, level eight. I don't know what I want to specialize. But none of these skills really are like, woo, yay! Um, keep going, damage. And then, skills. Hmm. Well, you know what might be interesting to try to use is shift. Uh, cause I, I, don't know, I feel like I, this probably isn't going to be as good as I want it to be. So I guess this is puncture is just going to be for massive damage, I suppose, huh? Well, then I, something like, I don't know. I don't know. It's... Fire damage. Chance to blind. Ignite. What the shurikens? Are shurikens worth going into? Ah, I kind of use all of them. Additional chance to poison, damage, slow enemies. That might be helpful. See, I kind of like acid flask. I was knocking it, but I, I kind of do miss it. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of smoke bomb for sure. We'll go ahead and just. Get rid of that. Well, you know, I kind of want to get into using shift. I just feel like... I mean, what's, what's three cooldown on it? Three and a half seconds? It's not bad. Alright, we're going to specialize shift. I don't think I'm going to have much of an issue. Damage. I mean, my cinder strike is doing fine. Puncture is going to be what I'm specializing. Shurikens are fine. It's probably stack acid flask, so we'll go ahead and do uh, shift. And right away, we're gonna go cool down, heals you, attack on the way out or in. And then to continue on with. Alright, damage it is. I don't really notice much of a speed difference. <laughs> stun shrine to stun no one. I'm not quite sure what I want for my E slot. Ah! 
<laughs> that guy didn't stand much of a chance. Another rare hood. What's the difference? Ooh, more health regen. Physical resistance stays. I lose some mana, but I'm not really caring much about mana. Switch that out. And another spear. I'm so tired of picking up spears. Throw damage shard. I'm not throwing nothing, but... Is that my first ring? That's my first ring. Haven't come across any rings so far with this one. <laughs> yeah, if, they, if they're in a hallway, they're lining up, it's a wrap. Throw a couple of those... Launch a couple of those. Pick, take off the stragglers. Charge through them. Oh, <laughs> I didn't charge far enough. Another scepter. Um, minion damage. I'm not doing minions. Wait, the rogue can have minions? 11% increase minion damage, but that's a rogue relic. Specifically, it says rogue relic. Huh. Wonder what kind of minions a rogue can have. There's the way out. Let's just make sure I explore everywhere. You never know what you're going to find. A uh, worthless amulet. Oh, it's... Interesting. It's cool. Oh, that doesn't have a specific... Oh, there's a mage helmet. Okay. Alright, so I guess it does give you... Uh, Specifics for all classes. Not happening. It will happen if I say it's going to happen. Still don't like the run cycle. But again, okay, look at this design. I mean, the, the design is very well. The concept, conceptual design of everything is very nice. You know, tree growing out, spawn into the rocks. But just the textures of it is just, I don't know. Like some of it looks good and some of it doesn't. Like, I, I like all this, you know, some kind of ruins. The, des the design is wonderful. It really is. But like, okay. Like, you look at the top of this. It's just not... It's like they forgot to render it, or uh, export it, I guess, a good 
resolution, but like, look at the jarring difference. Like, this ha clearly has, you know, some kind of bump map in there. That's not, I'd be surprised, that might actually be modeled in there, but it's more likely some kind of bump or normal map. But it's like, then they forgot to put it on this one. Right? I mean, this is supposed to be like, same kind of stuff. Hmm. All right, got to the northern road with the rogue. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. That's not. Good. No. Ah. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> that's that's kind of creepy. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Now, did you see where they went? Of course not. Too busy crying. Alright, first impressions of the rogue. Nothing I really love about the rogue. But then again, it's not my favorite class. Um, it kind of seems a mashup of maybe not sure what it wants to be. Um, I guess I do like how the skills are set up to essentially, such as like flurry, puncture. Well, I don't know about puncture. Okay. Um, and cinder strike are all set up to be used with bows or melee. No, there's just nothing in here that I really, really love, aside from Puncture. I mean, Cinder Strike's helpful, but that's just kind of a basic. Uh, I feel like Shift probably has um, a lot of potential for flexibility. But, oh, we're okay. Um, again, as far as combat, everything was pretty good in combat. Um, the ability to run around and quickly turn around and attack is there. Um, bleed and poison stacking damage comes in very handy. Um, but I could probably see how this could likely become an easily OP character. But hey, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens later down the road with her. So, uh, we're at the, uh, point here. We'll go ahead and call this one good, and then we'll, uh, hop over to the next character finish up the first impressions here. Thanks for watching these first impressions and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this run through, consider hitting that like button. And remember to subscribe for more Last Epoch and other ARPG gameplay analytics. See you on the next one. Adios.